20 weirdest moments in NFL history. Big shout out to Red Zone for the video. Let's get right into it and see what they talking about. From a hole in the ground? No to way, the bro. Weirdest touchdown ever. These okay. are the 20 weirdest moments in NFL history. And first up, watch your favorite football game come to life. What? How? What? Is what happened? Jeez, oh my gosh, they got up at the same real. exact time. Say Jones. Did y'all see that? But they did the same animation. Look. These two, look, look, 44 and 50. What the freak, bro? Jeez, no way. That's like a glitch, real. dude. But next up, Zay Jones is about to defy the laws of gravity. Okay. What the hell? Wow. Bro is an official NPC. Bro, he just Hungry like floated up. Because he once threw a touchdown pass to himself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember this. This was crazy, bro. Mariota this was crazy. That was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but who did it better? Go in the comments. Who did it better? Lamar Jackson in, in, in the game that he just had against the Chiefs when he threw a pass to himself or Marcus Mariota? Who did it better? Let's be honest. I'm saying, I don't know. That's a good debate. They're both number eight, too. That's kind of crazy. points for the touchdown pass plus six points for the catch. Now it's any fantasy football player's dream. But that's not even the weird weirdest touchdown over really? the years we've watched just about everyone score a touchdown okay. offensive linemen kickers okay. even jacoby myers however okay. one definitely takes the cake why are you talking about the new york giants like that bro wait what there is a black hat wait what on the field what the hell is it that bad luck bro Oh my god, that's why we suck. That's why my favorite team sucks. As you see, I'm a New York Giants fan, bro. Black cats are a symbol of bad luck, bro. That's crazy, bro. Literally in a giant stadium, a black cat came in there. That's why we suck so bad and we can never get far, bro. Oh hell nah, bro. Somebody gotta lift this freaking voodoo off of us, dude. Oh, bro. Rumor has it. Panthers offer this cat a one-year contract. They could use him. But it's one thing for wow. a cat to sneak onto the field. It's another to pull down your pants oh. on national television. Oh! <laughs> Wait, was his nut showing? Is his ball showing? Oh, that's not real. He didn't actually put his hands down. So we get my man some toilet That's not a weird moment. He didn't even celebrations are just as crazy. While Randy Moss's celebrations are well planned out and coordinated, OBJ's celebrations are just well bizarre. Really? Big shout out to OBJ, man. We used to play for the best team in the league, man. Big Blue. <laughs> Dang, it's too bad the two broke things off. But next up, it's the exact reason why not to celebrate. Because imagine your team is trailing by 25 points late in the fourth quarter. Okay. That's got to be pretty deflating. Yeah, that's brutal, bro. Not for Lamar Houston. See, when you sack Tom Brady, yeah. winning everything else feels irrelevant. But what after that wouldn't be so okay. irrelevant? Okay, he sacked. That's not Tom Brady, first of all. Oh! He injured his leg by celebrating? Oh, <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That is a weird moment. One second, you're sacking the goat, and the second. Bro, that's not Tom Brady, bro. What's wrong with this, bro? That's not number 10. That's Mac Jones or somebody else. That's not Tom Brady, bro. You're tearing your ACL. <laughs> oh, he peed himself? Oh, my God, he peed on himself. Now, I'm not sure what it gets more hell? embarrassing than pissing your pants, but it can get a lot weirder, especially when your star receiver starts running out of the stadium <laughs> shirt. Nah, that was crazy. Yo, why did a did, can, did, it, did we ever get an explanation on why he then ran across the field while the teams were That's still crazy, on the field, bro. giving the crowd That's a peace That's literally outside. so weird. Wow, I had no idea Antonio Big Brown shout out to him, though, bro. His son is, uh, me and his son, are we know each other, bro. We're supposed to be playing Madden with each other real soon. On Practical Jokers. Big However, Otto. he wasn't the only player who didn't follow the rules because Pat okay. Mack McAfee is the king of breaking rules. Really? His talk show is living proof that you can be yourself and people will tune in. That okay. said, his rebellious day started long before he retired. He once kicked an onside Wait. kick without his coach's... Whoa! The Pat McAfee show? That guy is the Pat McAfee from the Colts? Oh my God. I swear I never... I didn't know that the Pat McAfee car like guy on the podcast was Pat McAfee from the Colts. I didn't even know that, bro. That's crazy. Permission. That's when this happened. Oh! He did an onside kick without permission and recovered his own kick? Wow. That's crazy. 
McAfee is a savage and a genius. Uh. Yet Juju Smith-Schuster isn't just a savage. He's starting to turn into a nightmare. Really? This receiver isn't just stirring drama on the field. Okay. He's also getting in touch with his feminine side. How? On Sundays, he's catching passes. Mm -hmm. And on Monday, he's catching the internet by storm with his TikToks. It's okay. gotten so bad that fans have even given him the name a TikTok But boy. this is old. What if you ask is this me, an old video? He doesn't do that anymore. This is seven hours ago. What you about to get a new okay. nickname, Pregnant Boy. Because um, <laughs> is Juju even ready to be a father? Juju Jr. here. As you guys can see, he's been keeping up all night. I need to get some advice for some of the guys who <laughs> have kids. That's a baby. It's a baby. As you guys know, we got the touchdown celebration. My newborn, want to hold it? Shout out to Juju, okay. man. Okay, this has gone too far. But you can't use the word too far without talking about NFL mascots. <laughs> because our ninth moment. Yo, you want to know what's crazy, bro? Real quick, I'm not going to continue to pause a lot, but I just want to show you guys this. Look, that's me and that mascot. Big shout out to EA. I mean, big, no, that wasn't EA. That was the NFL. Big shout out to the NFL. They flew me out to uh, Jacksonville. So, you know what I'm saying? Go do like a creator of the week thing. And I got to actually hang out with this mascot and, um, and race him and stuff like that. So, pretty crazy. Moment is a moment you can't unsee. Great one, the mascot. What the heck? Get together. Oh my gosh! Oh. Engulfed. He ate That's her. Not right. Yo, How did that happen? Engulfed a cheerleader. Bro, the weirdest flex of all time. That's crazy. If we were playing Among Us, this mascot wouldn't be nearly as sus as Troy Aikman. Because okay. when he's feeling naughty, the NFL starts becoming way less family friendly. Really? Josh Bynes has been coming all night long, but then he pulls out and. And it's just hard. It's been a while since hey. he's seen a hole that big. <laughs> I got kids watching me. If you know, do. you know. If you don't, you know. Don't worry about this. Come on. Man. And somehow That's that so still crazy. doesn't even Balls. compare to what Jacoby Myers once did. Okay. Because when the game was on the line, he took the ultimate gamble. Oh my god, dude. I thought it was gonna be a good play. He ended up throwing a pick six, bro. Oh man, bro. Why would How are you, you do toss that? The ball to the other team and let your QB get bulldozer. That's, nah, that's so that stupid, ain't it, Chief. Bro. Although neither is our sixth was weirdest heck. moment. The time Antonio Brown almost decapitated a punter. What? And now Brown is off to the races. Oh, I remember this when he kicked him in the face. Yeah, that was crazy, bro. That was OD. That was actually, oh, that was crazy, bro. I remember that. This man's got a family. But he's still not as crazy as the guy who flashed the entire world. Because in Super Bowl 55, one man came up with one of the most devious plans in NFL history. See, this man goes by the name of Yuri Andrade. And he was willing to bet the house that someone would streak at the Super Bowl. What? So much so that this dude bet 50 G. What? If successful, that's almost 400 grand. Wow. But he wasn't about to let his life changing bet come down to fate. He was okay. about to take matters into his wow. own hands. Wow. on the field. Some guy with a No ball. way. He's pulling down his pants. Put up your pants, my man. Oh, my God. He's being chased to the third. Bro. <laughs> the security guard. Bro, there's down no down the way. Team, the five. The one. I don't even know how to feel about that. Mad cojones. But if you think he fooled the what? NFL, you'd be dead wrong. Which reminds me, our fourth Jacoby weirdest Jones. moment also occurred in Who's the Super Bowl. Uh, but unlike the, the last time. moment, Yo, this but, one changed the... Like, how do I feel about that? Like, should I be, like, mad that he did that because there's kids watching? Or should it be funny? Like, I don't even know how to feel about it, honestly, bro. It's, like, weird. It's like a double-edged sword, bro. Like, it's funny for adults, but, bro, like, there's little girls and boys watching that, bro. It's kind of crazy. Leap trajectory of the game. Because imagine this. This, this guy was the a Ravens goal, are winning 28 so good, 6 bro. in the second half. And Jacoby Jones just did the unthinkable. Yeah, I remember Raiders. This. Jim Harbaugh. He ran it all the way back. This guy was from East that running that thing. Which is Jones. Now. And look at him go. Jones is past the 50. And he is flying inside the 20. And a kickoff return. Yes, sir. Hey. Oh, to Ray Lewis. And unless your Ray quarterback Lewis. is Tom Brady, this play means one thing. Game over. Yes, well, that's sir. when Mother Nature decided to intervene. And from there, all bets were off. Wait, what? Why is the clock stop? Oh. All of the lights on the 49ers side of the Superdome are out. What? I can only imagine the scramble officials are going through. Whoa. 20 minute delay. 20 minutes? 34 oh minutes. That's how long the power was out. Wow. This not only gave the 49ers a chance to rest, but it gave them something even crazier. A reset button. Because what? once the power came on, the game was flipped. Ever since the power went out, the 49ers turned into the second coming of MJ. They not only mounted a comeback, yeah. but they also had a chance to win the game. 
Because oh. hey, I still can't believe that a blackout nearly changed the outcome That's of the Super That's actually super Bowl. crazy, Just bro. Like Make sure to Colin Kaepernick too, man. Also, listen, I'm not flexing when I do these things. These are, more, these, these are merely motivations, bro. Because, like, bro, three years, four years ago when I was broke sleeping on mom's floor, I never thought this would happen. But they just talked about Colin Kaepernick. Look, and say I linked up with him, bro. Did some something cool for, the, for uh, you know, said one of his games. I actually got his number, bro. He actually signed a ball for my mom, bro. FaceTime, I FaceTime my mom. He talked to her. She damn near cried, bro. Super cool guy. But it's crazy that, like, these people, bro, these are people, like, I mean, boom. I mean, look, even look at that team in the back. That's the Seahawks, right? Speaking of the Seattle Seahawks, boom, beast mode, Marshawn Lynch, bro. It's crazy. Like, bro, I can't make this up, bro. Like, I literally. God has been blessing me so much, bro. I appreciate him and I appreciate you guys supporting me, bro. Like, there's so many cool experiences that I've been having, bro, all off of this career, bro. This YouTube career, dude. I'm so blessed, man. And, I, and I, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep stomping, man. We still got a long way to go. This is only the beginning, bro. For real. Three moments. Because at number if three, you, hey, if you're proud of me, spam hashtag proud of you in the comments, bro. I, I want to see how many people. I know some of y'all probably don't care, but the ones who's proud of me, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I want y'all to tell me so I can like your comment and reply to it, bro. 49ers who caught the rough end of the stick. It was the 2023 NFC Conference Championship. Okay. Between the 49ers and the Eagles. And the 49ers have survived adversity after adversity. First, they lost Trey Lance to a season-ending injury. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was like a whole thing. Yeah. Cody Barton and Brian Monet both yep. teamed up to... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of Alex Trey Smith. Lance. And he's got the air cast on that right leg. He's Damn, bro. Off Trey Lance. I thought he played for the Cowboys. Not, they still had Jimmy G. We've already seen this guy lead the 49ers to a Super Bowl once. Yep. Who's to say it can't happen again? Yep. Well, about that. Okay. Okay. Okay, break the tackle. Oh, my God. Oh, he got injured, too. Ow! That looked like it hurt so bad, bro. All right, but this Rock Purdy kid's pretty good. He might only be a rookie, but this kid came he's out in of the gates red He's hot. in a Super Bowl he right now. He led the 49ers to five consecutive victories. Yeah. If that wasn't enough, he also put together two playoff wins. Yeah. But that wasn't how the script was supposed to end. Yeah, he was hit right there on his wrist, and that's where the doctors were looking Oh, he got hurt right two, arm. three hurt like QBs. here that he can't. He can't throw. He can't do it. Aaron oh told God. us about the wrist injury. I guess it's up to Josh Johnson now. Dude gets around more than the Kardashian sisters. <laughs> but as fate would have it, not even Johnson could withstand the Eagles' wrath. Oh, my gosh. Wait, he got hurt too? Four people got hurt? had to do something truly desperate. Introducing your new starting quarterback. No Christian way. McCaffrey. Wow, they had no more quarterbacks and they had to go to Christian. Wow, I think we finally that's found something so crazy, CMC isn't bro. good at. Yet for number two, it's a wow. moment that happened over 20 years ago. Because okay. when Janet Jackson was announced as the Super Bowl halftime performer in 2004, fans were ecstatic. Yep. But once the performance started, something would go oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. See, Janet Jackson invited Justin Timberlake Justin Timberlake the pulled her thing off, and bro, and she got exposed the stage, to the world. Fans became a lot less Watch. focused on the singing. Look. Bow. That's crazy, bro. That's insane, bro. Safe that, to oh, say, man, Justin Timberlake is banned from all Super Bowl halftime performances. Oh, wait, am I hearing what? this right? In 2014, Timberlake got a chance to redeem himself. Thank goodness he didn't have any more commotion this time around. But okay. now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The weirdest moment in NFL history. The number one it moment. It all started on Thanksgiving 2012. Bro, is the butt fumble? It was a oh, that's not the weirdest moment. The Jets Damn, bro. Patriots. It's going to be the butt With fumble. over 79,000 fans what, what at MetLife Stadium, Mark Sanchez made it his mission to put on a show. Okay. But never in a million years, did he plan to do this? Yeah, butt fumble, bro. That, that is a weird play, bro, but I don't think that's the weirdest play, bro, ever, bro. Like, what? Honestly, I think the the, the, um, the Christian McCaffrey with all the injuries, I think that was like the weirdest thing, bro. That was like Let me get this four hurt this dude just in one ran game into crazy, another bro. man's grown behind and fumbled the football in the process. Yeah, and crazy. it was so crazy that for years, yeah, all literally. people could talk about was yo. Sanchez's epic failure. Yep, yo, he literally. Quite literally, yep. the butt of the joke. Exactly. That was a yo, that joint literally like ended his career, kind of, bro. Like, literally, he was just looked at as like the butt fumbler guy, bro. Mark Sanchez, like, he just, nobody took him seriously ever again in his entire NFL career, bro. It's kind of sad because it's like one mistake, but damn, bro, it just ended him, bro. And I just feel like he could have been a good QB if he had a good uh, unit, but he played for the Jets. And let's be honest, the Jets in 2012, they sucked, bro. It wasn't that good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like New York Giants was taking over that era, bro, because we just had one Super Bowl the year before in 2011. Stop playing. Nah, I'm bumming. <laughs> I'm joking. Until another moment took the world by storm. Oh, he caught it on his butt. He caught it on his butt and thighs. 
Wow, what an interception, bro. What an interception. Good Mark Sanchez is no longer the butt in question. Wow. But this wasn't even the last time that something so outrageous and preposterous took place. Because in 2022, oh. it was Thomas Morstead's turn to put his spin on the butt play. Okay. Oh, he kicked the dude in the butt. Ow, I know his butt cheeks hurt. Look. Oh my gosh, I know his butt cheeks hurt Can so you bad. Can believe it? We have a butt fumble, what? a butt interception, and now a butt punt. That's this crazy. certainly wasn't what anyone expected. But then again, that's what makes the NFL so weird. Yep. Sometimes things get so out of hand that not even the NFL script writers can get the players back There's on no script. script. But if you want to get rid of the scripts entirely, then here's your chance. YouTube wants the video to end, but that won't happen if you click the video on screen. And I know you want to see some I already reacted to that, bro. I already reacted to that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what we do man we do uh well we don't do this all the time but i just thought of it last video so i'm gonna do it again we do a, a health check of the channel make sure everything's looking good speaking of that video look i just reacted to that oh that was my most recent video actually the brutal hits but yeah man we're doing pretty good we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven videos on the channel 10k subs trying to go up views looking nice make sure you guys smash that loving that sub button bro or that liking that sub button i said love button they should make a love button on youtube bro there shouldn't just be likes there should be a love button as well but whatever see you guys in the next one it's your boy eli mac gang gang <laughs>